Hello, welcome to this demonstration where you will see how HP SO Assistant closes the gap between design and runtime governance with their new feature IPAP. My name is Kun Matthijsen from EnableU, a partner of HP. EnableU is an expert in SOA governance and SOA security. In the past years EnableU has done several rollouts of HP SO Assistant. The latest version of HP SO Assistant offers the IPAP framework. This feature closes the gap between run and design time governance. Design and runtime governance are still two worlds. Analysts and architects design, register and govern services in their design time environment. Contracts are registered between services and their consumers. Services are deployed in runtime environments by developers and governed by release managers. There is no hard connection between what is registered in the design time environment and what is deployed in the runtime environment. This results in an inconsistency between those two environments. The new feature of HP SO Assistinet, IPAP, automatically deploys services to runtime environments if a contract is approved in the design time environment. At this point, HP SO Assistinet supports Layer 7 and IBM Data Power as runtime environments, also called policy enforcement points. How does this IPAP feature work? In the following example, a service will be automatically deployed from the design time environment, HP SO Assistinet, in the policy enforcement point, Layer 7. First, we have our policy enforcement point, layer 7. In layer 7, only the gateway management service is deployed, as you can see in the bottom of the left side of the screen. Next, we go to a contract that is created for a service in HP SO Assistinet and approve a stage in that lifecycle of the contract. If we approve the stage, the automatic deployment will take place. As you will see, the stage is completed. We can verify in two ways that the service is deployed. First, open the contract overview. This will show the contract details. Second way is to open layer 7 and refresh the view. As you can see, the contract pops up. You can open the service to look at the details. You saw automatic deployment of a service through a life cycle. Next to automatic deployment, you can do a manual deployment of a service by creating a contract. In this example, a contract is created in HP SO Assistinet. Specify the service and its default SLO. You can assign different SLOs to a specific contract. Save the contract. As you see, the deploy button will be visible. Click this button to deploy the contract. In this window, default properties are set. A default endpoint is suggested and this can be changed. The property environment needs to be set. Several environments can be defined, for example development, staging and production environment. In this example we choose test environment. In the next screen a front end protocol needs to be specified. We choose HTTP. A name for the service needs to be defined and how the service will be identified in the runtime environment. In this example, we choose contract ID. In the following screens, the service will be deployed to the policy enforcement point. Switch to the overview of the contract to see the details of the contract. For example, the contract ID and the visible URL. Another way to verify if the service is Deployed, switch to layer 7 and refresh the view. If we refresh the view, you will see that the service pops up. Click on it to see the details of the service. Nice part of this new feature are the reporting capabilities. Data from the runtime environment will be available in the design time environment so the real-time data can be used to verify the SLOs that are specified. Open the report section in HP SO Assistinet and choose the contract SLO monitoring report. This report shows all deployed contracts in your runtime environment. As you see the reports show how often the service is used in the runtime environment. 
Next to the reports for business architects, there are some specific reports for the HP SOAS SystemNet administrator. First one is the contract deployment status report. This report shows you all the contracts that are deployed. You can undeploy or deploy the contracts from this report. Next report is proxy management. Specified by environment, proxies are shown with the status and their details. The last report is the runtime policies report. Runtime policies are synced between the runtime environment and the design time environment. If you search in HP Server SystemNet, you can find the runtime policy as an artifact in the repository. Specific SLOs can be attached to that policy. This SLO will be used automatically when the runtime policy will be used. This demo showed you how HP Server SystemNet is used to govern services in design and runtime environments. Consumers request a contract through HP Server SystemNet. A lifecycle for the contract automatically deploys the service in the runtime environment with a specific SLO and runtime policies. This new feature of HP Server SystemNet will give you the following benefits. Automatic approval and deploy process with workflow for OTAP environment. Per contract service monitoring and quality of service enforcement. Tracking of the full history from design time to runtime. Discovering service utilization trends. Identification of capacity, capacity issues. Capacity planning. Policy management. Assured information, reliability and consistency using policies and lifecycle identification of work contracts and service endpoints. Automatic distribution of policies to integration devices and policy versioning. I hope this demo was valuable for you. Feel free to contact us for a demo of this new feature or for further information or questions.